Right, another day. I'm now gonna clean all of this up. Get all of this out of here so I can start working on the floor pans properly, cleaning them up. I've got to do a little bit of work in that corner down there, underneath the bulkhead. So, I'm just gonna clean all this up and then I'll be back with you so I can see what I've got left to do. Because obviously I can't see it with all the stuff in there. So I'll be back with you shortly. Right, I'm gonna start cleaning all these up and all the welds up now. Um, oh, starting on the passenger side. Oh, that light's a bit glary, isn't it? Uh, a bit better. I'm gonna start cleaning these bolts up this uh, start getting some of this back done up here cleaned up because all up there is fine I want to say a big thank you to Jimmy C again as he has sent me some flat discs thank you very much they will be very useful when I come to clean all of this up I appreciate it Oh, right. I'll be back with you when I've started cleaning some of this up. I think it's about time I started uh, while I'm waiting for some metal to do the driver's footwell. I thought I'd get on with some of this while I wait. Get some of that uh, buttoned up and done. And I'll be back with you shortly. so far I um I've got to put some more little bits of weld in there but that's what I'm going to concentrate on grinding all of this flat in this little section for the next couple of days so once that's done hopefully by that time um I think it's next Friday I'm buying my metal so I can get on the driver's side foot well then so you'll get to see that don't worry grinding all of this it's raining what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make a temporary cover a glass or not glass like the glass that I can stick in place there 
to prevent water from coming in because that tarpaulin is not doing a very good job and it's filling the footwell up down there with water I'm having to keep mopping it up so I'm going to do something about that so that way even though when it rains I can still do work inside here so, so that way I won't have to let the uh, bad weather stop me from doing work because there's quite a bit to do in here still like when I've finished grinding and welding some of that I've got a seam seal all around them edges um, but I'm also going to put some paint down in those slots there all down there I'm going to fill that up with paint and then seam seal it but I've still got some work to do with cleaning them seals up inner seals so I'm going to get back to doing some more of this and I'll show you what I've done after I'm hoping to get this in some sort of primer because it keeps going it'll keep going rusty otherwise so back with you shortly filming this is that I set my camera up and all the sparks have splattered my screen um, so now I've got to somehow get them in dents out of my screen bits of metal stuck in my screen so that's nice and flat I am going to get the welder eventually not yet and start filling in these little bits That was today's work. Um, I've had enough. All the dust is uh, blocking my nose. <laughs> oh, so. Get in there. So that's still got that little bit that runs up there, 
got that little bit that runs up there. I'll continue doing some of that and I'll bring it back and then I'm going to uh, call it a day today. Can't wait to get the uh, Metal Friday so I can complete that footwell in the driver's side. It's looking amazing in here now. I'm going to take these door cards off as well. Uh, I'll bring it back in a minute and I'll show you some more. Right, that's it for today. But that's what I've done so far. Still loads more grinding to do. And I've got to start shaping those square sections. So this bit here is supposed to be flatter. That bit over there is supposed to be flatter. But I've got to get the jack and some wood underneath and start shaping all of that. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to go around some of them spot welds, filling them in. And double checking, make sure it goes right the way through. To strengthen that up a bit more. Uh, the driver's side I already Yes, I already went over them, didn't I? But I'll double check them. And then I've got to grind all that inner seal and get that in some primer. Let's get in there. Eventually I am going to do um, a video, which I, I want to work on, of before and afters from when I first got the car to now. So, once I've cleaned all of this up and whatnot, I'm also going to be working on a video showing what it looked like before and what it looked like after, so that people can get a better gen uh, general idea of and see both together. Because obviously I've been moving around here, there and everywhere, and a lot of stuff's probably got, got forgotten what it looked like. And I'm not sure if the new subscribers have been watching from the beginning or the end. So, yeah, that's it. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.